Hello everyone, my name is Ms. Rodriguez. I'm a college advisor. Um, so I am making this video today just to help everyone who applied to UC Merced um, navigate their portals. Also, if you did not apply to UC Merced but you did apply to other UCs, this tutorial might be a little bit helpful for you um, just because all UCs tend to have similar structure. Um, so just go ahead and keep watching and maybe it'll help you out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you just so I can show you exactly what I am doing on my end. Okay, so you should have access to my screen now. Um, so usually what I do is just open up Google Chrome um, and I like to just Google UC Merced. So once I've Googled UC Merced, um, I just go ahead and click on the first website that says ucmerced.edu. So once you're on this website, my Wi-Fi is a bit slow, sorry about that. Um, but once you are on the website, you'll see soon enough that there's a lot of tabs that are on here. Um, so it could be very overwhelming once you guys get to the website, right? Um, but what you want to click on is my UC Merced. That's right over here to the top, right what I'm circling. Okay, so once you click on that, it'll take you straight to the portal where, um, I'm sorry, the website where you're supposed to log in um, to access your portal. So if you have never accessed your portal before for UC Merced, what you want to be clicking on is right here, um, new user. Uh, you could always access it down here as well, where it says first time users claim your UCM net ID. But since I already have my net ID and password, um, then I'm just going to go ahead and click login. And I'm going to go ahead and put in my username and my password. And it is important to write down your passwords, please. Okay. And as you can see, this is the portal, right? This is what it looks like. If you've already logged into the UC Merced portal, then this looks familiar to you. Um, so the most important things that I want to point out are towards the bottom of the screen and the right of the screen. Um, also to the left, my bad. So right here is one of the most important things um, that you want to be checking. It says my decision. Um, so my decision, that's where if you've been accepted, it'll pop up. Um, so this application is still under review. So that's why it says under review. If you've been accepted, it'll say admitted. If you've been denied, it'll say denied. Um, so that's one of the most important things, right? Um, and now if we go ahead and scroll down towards the middle right here, it says my checklist and it says student checklist. It also has your student ID number. Um, this is something that you always want to have accessible to you. Let's say you have to call UC Merced for some reason, um, then they're always going to ask for your student ID number. And it just makes this a whole lot easier if you already have it accessible once you're already calling, right? Um, so for this student, they've already completed every task. Right here it says, congratulations, you have completed all of your items. Um, but in the case that you haven't completed the task or that you have any tasks to complete, they will all pop, pop up right here. Um, it'll say what you need to do and it'll have a deadline. So that's why it's very important for all of you to be checking your portals um, often because it could pop up like one day, hey, you need to do this and it's due by the week after. And if you're not checking your portals constantly, then there you go, you miss a deadline, right? Um, so it's very important for all of you to check these portals constantly and make sure you're always checking this part, the student checklist, right? Um, now I'm gonna bring your attention to one of the other important things that's over here to the right of my screen that says my admissions. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. It takes you to another page. Um, and right here, um, when you have already been accepted, this is the page that you'd go to in order to accept the admissions if UC Merced is the school that you want to attend. Um, so right here, as you can see, it says accept or decline admissions. Go ahead and highlight this and make their SIR deposit payments by clicking the link below. Um, so there is no link right now because the student has not been accepted, right? Um, but also SIR, you might be asking yourself, what is that? Um, SIR stands for Student Intent to Register. 
and the deadline for that is May 1st. So student attempt to register pretty much means, hey, I'm going to your school and I'm registering to your school. So it just, it just means that you're accepting the admissions for that school, right? Um, and this is the website where you would go to if you want to accept the admissions. Also right here where it says review admissions for fall semester 2020, if you click on that, it'll show you all your personal information. And it is very important for all of you to just check that because it's possible that maybe you made a mistake when inputting your address or inputting your email address. And you want to make sure that all that information is completely correct. Um, just so your UC Merced mail won't be getting to your neighbor's house, right? Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and click on the tab right here that says financial aid. So once you click on this tab, it'll take you to this financial aid page part of your portal. Um, once you've been accepted to a school, you'll receive what's called an award letter. This award letter um, gives you all the financial aid that the school will be giving you. It's a breakdown of the financial aid you'll be receiving for that specific school. Um, so once you've been accepted, your financial aid award letter will appear right here. Um, it'll be under award messages. So when you click on that, it'll take you to your award letter. Um, and once you've decided, hey, I want to go to UC Merced, this is where you would accept or decline your awards, right? Um, so financial aid, this is a tab that you want to be checking constantly as well once you've already been accepted, because one of the most important aspects that you should be considering before making your final decision on the school you're going to go to is your award letter. Um, you want to make sure that you know how much financial aid you will be receiving for that specific school. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close this page right here. And the same page that I was just on for financial aid can also be accessed through your main portal right here on my financial aid to the right of the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, it takes you to the exact same website. So you have two options. Click on it from where I was before or click on it from here. Totally up to you. But those are some of the most important things that you should be checking when you get to your portal. Um, also, if you want to stay updated with UC Merced's Twitter, they have it to the left of the screen as well. Um, and there's a very cute puppy right here. So. And if you ever have any questions for UC Merced regarding your admission, regarding financial aid, this is the phone number you want to be calling, what I'm highlighting to the right of the screen. Or if you want to email them, you can also email them to this email right here, studentsfirst at ucmerced.edu. So I, like I said before, I hope this video was really helpful to help you navigate your portal. It's a pretty easy portal to navigate, um, but still, just make sure you're looking out for those three things, um, for the decision, for the student checklist, and the admissions or financial aid, right? Um, so just make sure you're checking out for those things and just make sure you're in constant contact with your college advisor. Um, if you need any help, your college advisor is still here to help you. So make sure you're communicating with them and hope you have a good rest of your day.